Make Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 269. Chat GBT Aliens and Artificial P. Intelligence. That was GPT. What did I say? GBT. I said G. No, I had a lot of both to it. No, it was it, it was not even close to vanilla. Oh, yeah. Have a listen it, back. It, was no big, it just, it was, it just it had a lot book. of brain. It had a lot of brain. Uh, man, that's why. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Tan. And I'm Andrew. You down with Chat GPT? Yeah, yeah you, you know, know me. me. Oh, buddy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, brothers. Right now, if this was if this came out 15 years ago, I would have got far better grades in school. Oh yeah. Because no I would have. I would have taken more time to dumb these AI essays down so people thought I wrote it than the work that I handed in. I probably would have, it probably would have been better for me to just write it in the first place because of the amount of time I put in, but I would have done Boys, that. I'll never forget, like, so I didn't have a computer at home until like almost high school. So not savvy with them, didn't really know the ins and outs. Get to probably grade five computer lab. And I'm doing a report on Sobic, the, the Egyptian god. And I'm in the I'm in the internet, and I got a friend. He's like, "Yeah, man, you can like search search this kind of stuff. You can look at it, and it'll tell you all the information you need." And I'm like, "It's blowing my mind." And then mm -hmm. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "Oh my! Like I got these motherfuckers. Like I cracked the code. I'm gonna go to this page. This guy already showed me how to copy and paste. I'm gonna copy all this shit. I'm gonna put it on my report and bingo, bango, bongo, straight A's. Hand it in, and my teacher right away is like, "You didn't write any of this." And I was like, how do you know this? Like, how do you have any idea? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Prove it. Yeah. Huh? Oh, dude, I thought I, I thought I fucking cracked the code. I thought I was going to be getting you had it. I thought you were in the clear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but artificial intelligence is the topic for today. And obviously this is, especially right now, we're, we are on the precipice of some, like, buckle up, baby, because things are going to get real crazy, real fucking fast. And there's going to be a lot of disruption to a lot of industry very quickly. Sure, like yeah, what? I mean, no. yeah. <laughs> it seems to be going that way. <laughs> now, we talked about AI, I think, post. When we went to, like, AlienCon in 2018, we we seen... um Linda Moulton Howe, and she was talking about the robots that were fucking murdering those scientists in the lab. Yeah, they couldn't terrifying. shut them down because they couldn't fucking starling. They starlinked themselves, and I was you know, dead asleep during her fucking <laughs> anyway, her thing, <laughs> and woke up to that. Like I just like was like, fuck, startled me. Yeah, we talked about it way back then, and then we could never actually find any more proof about the murdering murdering robot. Yeah, in Japan. But that doesn't mean they haven't progressed AI significantly since then. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, don't know if you got... I wouldn't put it in there because there was that one article that came out recently where they had a couple, like, it's a couple Marines or Army or whatever, and they had a test with like the artificial intelligence, and they just beat it by hiding in a box and like moving up to it and knocking it over. Yeah, but everyone, <laughs> everyone knew. The solid snake method. If it, you yeah, know, people are yeah, there's solid snake method, right? <laughs> we've we've all known that, right? If you put a box on, you fool everyone. Yeah. Because people just think, oh, there's some storage Just there. a box. Oh, there's some storage. <laughs> I would keep that cardboard box anywhere. I'm yeah. not suspicious at all. But then you've seen, uh, so yeah, we've, so we've seen, well, we've seen robots advance greatly with Boston Dynamics. Have you seen the new one? Where this robot is now like parkouring and picking yeah. up a tool bag and chuck I stuff in scaffolding. I flips. never know when those are real or not because there's so many fucking fake ones. Well, the, the right? one like, I saw one with a uh, with a robot fucking shooting guns and some guys kicking it and it's still ace in the fucking targets. Yeah, that, 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 that one's fake. fake. Yeah, that well, one's I'm fake. Aware. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where then points a gun at them for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, ah! <laughs> I mean, like it's doing parkour now. I don't think it's that it far away. Yeah. They, they, they actually it was straight from uh, was it Boston Dynamics? The what they call that the Atlas? Is it Atlas? Yeah, fucking like robot Atlas series. Yeah, it's been slowly getting better, and now it can like balance and flip and like wow. do like make twists off of platforms and land. It's terrifying. And then celebrate. It, like, it puts its arms up in the air yeah. and just like yeah. Well, yeah. Anyhow, like <laughs> just like typical people who do parkour. Soon they're going to be playing hacky sack and smoking fucking. <laughs> Cash and yeah. going to junior colleges and getting dreads yeah. and stuff, and then obviously the robotic uprising. All right. That's yeah. star in a movie with Paul Walker. Well, AI <laughs> deep fake Paul Walker. <laughs> was that District Thirteen? That was District Thirteen when he was in. 
That was like his last. Oh, Walker was in District 13. He was in that. Yeah, he was in that movie with that when uh, French parkour oh, martial District arts guy. It wasn't just 13 was with all the South Africans. Oh, what was like that movie that he's in? It was it was basically like Escape from L.A., but it was like or Escape from New York, but it was like fucking. Oh, fuck. It was like uh, that was uh, that's that English guy, not Paul Walker. Uh, oh, God, it's going to drive me nuts. Jason Statham. No, keep him coming. God, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna drive me Just nuts. Keep that's, yelling English that's actor all I got. names. That's all I got. Yeah, it's not Jesus. Is it that? Is it that like really hard looking guy? Is that who I'm thinking what else of? Is he in? No, he's not even that hard looking. He usually play. He usually plays villains like more of like a classy villain. That oh, dude. is it? Cyr- is it Cyril Raffaelli? Because that's the, the guy. Oh no, God, it? no! I don't even know who the fuck. I'm looking is. at it right now. District 13 is a 2004. French action film. That's what I'm talking about. I thought it had Paul. Why would I think it had Paul Walker? There's like a remake. I don't know. I was thinking of a totally different movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's so the one with the robot where they're in South Africa? Oh, that's oh. Dis- oh District Nine. District Nine. <laughs> no, no, oh, that was close. Completely different district. Well, I was Chappie. like four numbers Chappie off. Chappie is the well, Chappie that's... is the one with the robot. Uh, the other yeah. one, District Nine, is the one with District the Nine's with, with the prawns. prawns. Yeah. Oh, the they're fucking. Prawns. Prawns. Oh, it was called Brick yeah, Mansions. Prawns. That's what it was called. It was called Brick Mansions, but it was like the it was like a redo of District Thirteen, essentially. Yeah. Okay. That had Paul Walker in it. Got it. So, <laughs> <laughs> we are Dan in the notes. You were. You know, I thought you could elaborate on this more, but there's what are the stages of AI? There's three stages. What are, what are those? Right. So the <laughs> so uh, most artificial intelligence uh, experts will kind of uh, lump each uh, artificial intelligence into certain stages and certain uh, certain categories. So you have like you have your ANI, which is your artificial narrow intelligence, which is basically just something that's designed to do uh, just stuff like a very specific is that like things. battle bots that's like google that's like google is like a search <laughs> okay, engine right, like a yeah. search engine it's like it's as well it's 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 like that it's yeah it's just pretty much as like rule-based systems so like you teach this machine it's going to move this way with the router and cut oh, this is perfect that, is that some sort of like algorithm like is that could you consist out of like when you look up a fucking keyboard and then you go on facebook and there's like an What's, ad and it's like would you like a keyboard no, I think like it's no, that, what about this that's just more like 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 an autopilot of the plane. You teach a plane how to fly the plane, okay. and it will fly the plane plane based on what you teach it. Like you know, so rule based systems kind of like you. This is the rules for the system, and it just operates under those rules. It can't change. It doesn't think. It doesn't update them. That was like one of the earlier ones. And right? yeah, it's, I think it would probably be best example. Well, probably like AlphaGo and like uh, like the the Deep Blue and those like the chess playing robots. Like those are artificial oh, narrow okay. intelligence. They're designed to do kind of one thing ish or whatever. And then there's their artificial general intelligence, which is one that can like learn from itself, do things. Actually, that might be more like AlphaGo and things. Um, learn basic stuff and kind of a, a progress to a part where essentially it is it is within the still in the realm of being equal to a human or slightly so like better maybe adapt adapt simple adapt to simple problems or whatever right that not even simple no artificial general is like what all ai is going for right now to pretty much make sure that it has intelligence like humans right to, if, if not, better. yeah, like if, in, it, in, it, yeah, within like it's worst. still in the primaries of like slightly better than humans, self aware, yeah, right. If it's as soon as it becomes like self aware, it realizes what it can do and what it is, right? Like it can ace a Turing test and then be like, even though there's some that can already kind of pass Turing tests, like to they can kind some, of pass yeah. them in ways, yeah. And then, um, and then your last and then when you say Turing test, that's like that's Alan Turing, like mm-hmm. the guy, the, the father that created of the computer, art, or? yeah, he's like the father of artificial intelligence, essentially. Okay. Kind of. Um, and then you have yeah, your it, go ahead. Well, I'm I was, let's just state so pretty much what this is like artificial general intelligence is pretty much what you see in most sci fi movies where the the dro like the droids and the androids are human like they're human right. they're as like humans they think like humans it's hard to differentiate between the two and then you have artificial super intelligence asi which is the next stage which we haven't really seen um that is where a ai eventually becomes like it hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon.
Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.